Have you found a practical or helpful way to engage with people who want to take the Bible as a scientific document as well, in the sense that it tells us scientific facts about the, the world and creation? I have come across those people, um, uh, and it's <coughs> difficult because um, it, I, 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 I cannot see that that's an authentic or indeed an authoritative way. Of reading, of reading scripture, and I wish they wouldn't. I think it's a cheap and easy way of reading scripture that involves, involves missing out enormous amounts of hard work. Um, and I think that one would expect enormous amounts of hard work to treat um, scripture properly. Um, I, Tim Keller says an interesting thing about this, doesn't he? He says, he says um, I love the way he puts it, he says, he says yes, Genesis 1 was, um, says, but no, the Bible was held. The Bible, um, uh, was written for us, but it wasn't written to us. It was written into its own time. So we do have to recognize that. Um, that's the second thing to say. The third thing I, I would say is, is that actually there by loves, lies confidence. You see, I said, there's no, I said at the beginning that I'm not going to answer the question about the conflict and science and faith because, because the question doesn't arise. Uh, let me inflect that a little bit. You can make the conflict arise if you want to create it artificially. Boy, yes, you certainly can. But you see, if when God wants us to understand how nature works, he asks us to do science, then, and that's what the Bible is telling us, then there's no conflict. But if we also say, oh, and by the way, there's some shortcuts to the answers as well, <laughs> You know, that's going to set up conflicts, and they're terrible conflicts, and they're terrible conflicts because because they 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 put they um, for people in those sorts of churches who are studying science, and even people who you see uh, more people should be hurt by this it only it, because people don't know science enough well enough. You know, people out there, they're, these children are lied to in this way. I'm really hurting by this. Um, they're made to think of science as evil or bad or satanic or whatever, and it's not, it's God's gift. How could you call such a beautiful thing um, uh, uh, evil in, the, in those ways? Um, and it's very damaging, and it's keeping thousands of people from the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Because like as Augustine predicted many years ago, anyone who understands philosophy or things about the world will will believe the church to be foolish if the church says things that they know are wrong. Something that has to be said is that young earth creationism is a social movement in the 20th century. It doesn't, it's, not, it's not very orthodox Christianity at all. It's not part of, it's not part of the patristic period or the early Christians or, 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 or the medieval interpretation or early modernism. It's a social phenomenon in the early 20th century. It only really comes to the fore in, 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 in the 60s. It's not traditional Christianity at all. Um, but again, the most helpful thing I do with these people is to, is to thank them for their, um, their desire for deep discipleship and respect for Scripture. But to point them in a way, not that I said before, does less of that, but that does more of that.